20 days? Yeah. Yeah, there's a Wait, wait, wait. So what about your, what about your business in the meantime? Good morning, gentlemen. And uh, thank you very much for waking up so early to join this uh, meeting. And uh, this, meet, uh, this meeting is featuring Ivan. He's uh, a very long-term customer and uh, actually a personal friend of mine. And uh, this, uh, compared with yesterday's uh, conference, yesterday is more technical because uh, Giovanni is an engineer. But Ivan is, uh, is an engineer himself, but uh, mostly a, a manager. So he will be doing more case study and will more seeing things from the sales point. Because most people here are uh, related, more related with sales. So I think uh, today's meeting will be easier for you guys uh, to understand. And then let's welcome uh, Ivan. Thank you for everybody. Uh, so I will try to, to talk without the microphone. My, vo my voice is very annoying, so with microphone it will be even worse. So first of all, if I'm not clear in at any moment, please feel free to stop me. I will try to be uh, less understandable on the second time as well. But well, let's start on this. It's a, what, what I'm pre pretending to show you is how we are doing parking business on Mex in Mexico City. And maybe you will find some, uh, some points that could be the same in your, in your country or the same in the city you are. So that's, that's the main uh, purpose of my, of my talking, so for talking to you today. To show you how we are doing business in Mexico, how related could be with the particular market you are attending, and how can you go from this market, uh, from the products you are doing by now with Jeep, and move into parking solutions. So let's start on this and uh, I want to insist, if I'm not clear at any moment, please, at, this, at that, at that uh, instant moment, stop me, I will, I'll do my best. So, first of all, a brief, a brief introduction to what we are doing in Mexico. Uh, we manage uh, with different partners, uh, parking solutions in general terms. With Jeep, we manufacture, we, we get uh, car starters and some other products that we are going to try to show you in a few, in few more layers. We have the car starters and main products we did with some other companies. We have like car elevators for going from level to level. And we, in, that, in that way, we avoid the use of inclined platforms in parking facilities. And we also have what we call the robotic solution. It's a fully automatic parking solution. Uh, it's basically we did, uh, we have a four post park, parking lift which goes 1.8 meters. This is our main product. This is the most more common that we sell in Mexico because 1.8 is, is high enough for most uh, facilities. Then we have a second, pro a second product, also purpose, which goes 2.05 uh, meters above the, the, the ground level. So this is quite the same, but the main difference, the only difference is the height that it can go. Excuse me. Yeah? Could you please speak a little bit slower? Yeah, sure. Sorry, sorry. Good. Um, second, well, we have a two-post parking lift. On the two-post parking lift, we have several advantages. Uh, of course, the, the main one would be uh, how easy or how we can make it easier for the driver to get into the platform. Because the posts are located, like if we see on the top view of the parking lift, the posts are located one third uh, from the uh, back part to the front part. So it's easier driving in into the platform. Second advantage of this product is that we can share the middle column here, this column, this chair from lift to lift in order to save space. So it, 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 it has, the, that's the second main advantage. Third, this, this, this parking lift is, uh, includes from its original version the use of an uh, infrared sensor which uh, detects if there's a vehicle parked in, uh, down, down the platform. So we can, uh, at this moment, we are doing a project with Walmart Group. In some of their stores, they are installing this kind of lift with a valet parking service. So you get into the, into the parking facility, into the parking lot, you left your car in the valet, 
they will drive your car into a, a lift like this. And when you are doing, when you finish your, your purchase and you are doing a payment on the cashier, uh, they call for your parking. So there is a person with a touch screen computer that is managing up and down the lifts. Of course, with the use of the infrared sensor, uh, the person can manage the system even though it's not, it, it, uh, he's not having a, a view on the lift. So that's the second, another good advantage of this. The third product to be managed is the one cost lift. This lift uh, saves a lot of space. <coughs> has the, the, of course, for some people, could have a, like a risky lift because they see only one column and it looks like it could be dangerous. But of course, it's already engineered and manufactured with safety devices and with the proper structural design. Yeah, all systems are uh, hydraulic, electric hydraulic systems. Yes, all, all the ones ones ones. yes, even the ones that we have a, a, the cylinder in, inside the college. So all, all these, up to this moment, all these are electric hydraulic systems. This one post lift, uh, yes. what, what capacity is that? 2.5 tons. Yeah. <laughs> of course, compared with, like, let's say, like the four post lift is 3.1 tons. Oh, so no. we diminish the, the capacity, but it's with, good enough. With, with low, low capacity? Yeah, we, we have to reduce it in, in, in some way. Uh, one more question. Yes. Uh, 2.05. Well, yes. yes. Ah, the way. Yes, uh, normally here's an important issue. According to Mexico regulation, that's, that's a point that I will try to point out a little later, but I will, I will do it as well now. According to Mexico regulation, the size of the car space should be 2.5 meters wide. That's the minimum wide it has to be. Uh, the one cost uh, lift is, is larger than that, is wider than that, because the column is very uh, heavy, it's very, the, the, the shape is larger. So in some cases, let's say that uh, it's very common that on, in the building we put this kind of list in the corner, somewhere, and the column is inside a part of, you know, the building has the uh, concrete structure, and we go inside the concrete structure, saving that space for the, for the steel structure, for the steel column. Then the new product that Jim has already developed, we saw that yesterday during the visit, is the inclined platform. Of course, the main advantage of this product is that normally a four post lift would need like 3.5, 3.6 meters stage, clearance stage. At this, with this lift, we can install these kind of systems in 3.1 meters. Uh, clearance space. So we say um, in some buildings they cannot dig down because the building is already done, or they cannot put or uh, lift up the building. Of course, so that's a good solution as well. <coughs> Following, we have what we call a pit lift. It's, it's not proper translation, I guess, but it's a pit lift. It's a two platform lift, uh, and with the diagram we can see that we have a pit. Like normally one for the day. Te puedes poner un yes. poco ahí porque no 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 sure. no. Sure. Ah, bueno, no. Sí, pero así casi mejor ahí porque si no ahí es no. Yes, I will try to move so so I don't stop. Okay. So this with this lift we have the the pit here. So normally it's one point eight to two two meters. It can be customized for for uh, client requirements. So with this lift, in some cases, uh, particularly. As I told you, I, I'm talking about Mexico City uh, situation. Digging into Mexico City is quite difficult in some parts because Mexico <coughs> City is above what it used to be a lake. So if you dig like six meters depth, you will start finding water. Water will start to come out from, from the soil. So in some cases, they cannot dig very deep <coughs> for doing parking places. But they can be dig like two meters and they do like that hole, and we can duplicate parking space, we can make double with this kind of solution. It's a double platform, of course, uh, we can manage, there are, there are some solutions that, if, there, if, if it's in an open space, then we can put two cars, and the platform moves the two cars at the same. But in some places, where the parking lot is on the ground, and we have not enough clearance cage, then the, the, the user, or the driver, should take out the above vehicle, 
or lifting up or down the platform. 